Hi, Aries, Sun, and Rising. Welcome to your January 2023 astral update. It's Raina here. Well, as I have been um, mentioning to Aries, I have a video out about four interesting things that you can anticipate in 2023. So check my channel if you're intrigued by that title. But um, there are going to be eclipses in your sign in 2023, as well as one in your opposite sign of Libra. So that alone makes me think that this is going to be a significant year for you. But also, um, well, I mean, I, I said also, but that's coming up. Uh, this is the first month of 2023. And we begin the month with two retrogrades of personal planets, Mercury and Mars. Mars has been retrograde for a couple of months thus far at that point, and uh, Mercury just for a few days. And both of these planets go direct in January. So um, this will happen towards the second half of the month. I'll go, when I go in order, I'll explain that. But the point I'm trying to make is that I do feel that, you know, we always think of January as, as um, a new beginning. And sometimes when we have a Mercury retrograde, that's usually what is going on. Uh, but now we have Mars as well. It doesn't feel the same way. And of course, there might be people who do feel it's a new year. I, I'm sure I'm recording this before the first. I'm sure I'll get into that new car feeling or new year feeling. Uh, and I like that feeling, but astrologically it's going to be more like a few weeks from, uh, this beginning of the month. And, you know, Mars is your ruler. So it's, uh, something to take into consideration on the sixth of the month. We have a full moon at 16 degrees of cancer. Cancer is a cardinal sign, just like you are. And so it, uh, is going to fall on one of the angular houses for you. This is going to be the fourth house of home and family, a full moon here, bring something in that area to completion can also involve your mother. Now, of course, this is right after Christmas. So what this could be, and you know, drama can be associated with it. I don't really like to use the word drama because it doesn't have to be like negative emotions. Um, it could be, well, I mean, it could be very emotional, uh, whatever this is, but it doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, full of animosity is what I meant to say. And this may be like kind of a, a saga coming to a close, um, regarding this area of like, life, your mother, like a house, maybe you, you've been trying to sell your house for a year and you finally did it or six months. And it's like you, you have that closure. Um, and so it's a, it's a very personal area. Also the fourth house is the house of childhood. So, you know, this is the week after <laughs> a lot of people are mingling with their family and even an Aries person who tends to be very active and not necessarily all that, um, contemplative may be kind of processing all of that from the holidays and coming to some kind of revelation about what kind of what, you know, why you are the way that you are on the 12th, Mars turns direct at eight degrees of Gemini. This is more of a friendly angle that, that, uh, full moon squares off your sun or ascendant, but the, um, the, the Mars retrograde has been sextiling you coming from the third house. And now it is, um, direct. So you're able to proceed in this particular area in a way that is much more effective. So if there was any kind of holdups with this area, which has to do with education, which has to do with, Oh, it has to do with your siblings. 
So there you go. Mother. And then some people say fourth house is a father for some bizarre reason. But um, the third house, siblings. Also aunts, uncles, cousins could be third house. So there may have been there may be something where you're no longer spinning your wheels with them. Um, but you may have had some kind of conflict with them at some point while Mars has been in this third house. Um, maybe, maybe you've taken the gloves off now. I don't know. <laughs> On the 18th, Mercury turns direct at eight degrees of Capricorn, and that's going to be in that career sector. So if there was some kind of uh, negotiations with uh, your superiors or miscommunications, I guess, too, but even rethinking a type of career, you're going to get it sorted out. And of course, because you're having those eclipses in March and April, that can catapult you into new directions as well. So the, this is, these are the examples I'm saying because um, Mars is your ruler and then Mercury is in your 10th house, a very important area. And then on the 20th, the sun goes into the 11th house and the next day there's a new moon there, but it's at one degree, 33 minutes of Aquarius. So the chance of it actually being your 11th house are pretty slim to none. I'm, you know, I'm saying this as somebody who, who is trying to visualize things in my head, I feel like for a lot of you, this will actually be a new moon in your 10th, even more than the Capricorn new moon on December 23rd. So that could, um, the fact that Mercury has gone direct here just a few days earlier, and then you have a new moon here can be, um, pretty sweet. And, and you can feel that, that sense that you're moving forward. On the 22nd, Uranus turns direct at 14 degrees, 56 minutes of Taurus. Um, if your finances have been wonky and, you know, the Uranus direct is going to be very, it, I, I wouldn't say a roller coaster ride, but you could have some stuff coming in from left field too, but it's going to be more stable, as stable as Uranus can be. Um, but you're going to have, this is another area where you're going to get blessed because Jupiter is going to go here. I'm going to be doing separate videos about the, the Jupiter transit into uh, Taurus. Um, maybe, and I actually was thinking about this. I, I saw when I was looking on online that another astrologer is combining the Aries and the, and the uh, Taurus. And I think I had that idea too. So I don't, I hope that I don't seem like a copycat, but, uh, yeah, so I'll be doing that at some point in the near future, but it is going to go eventually into your second house. And when Jupiter and Uranus are in the same house, uh, you know, it's like anything can happen literally, but, um, yeah, so this is what is happening for you Aries in the month of January. I hope that this gets you stoked. If you would like a private reading, I'm promoting my double readings, um, my deep dive readings, an hour of natal chart analysis, an hour of transits for 2023 for a special price. I have one also with the tarot, if you like that, called the whole enchilada. The first one's called deep dive. Um, and I have standalone readings too. You can find out more information at the link below. Take care.